What's going on guys? This is part three of my ACF plugin tutorial for WordPress. Um, in this next tutorial, we're going to figure out how we can get some sort of image gallery going on here with ACF's gallery field, uh, which makes it super easy to add images to that, that field and have them display in a gallery form. Um, so what we're gonna do is these are all placeholder, uh, placeholder.it photos. Um, but I'm going to replace these with uh, some unsplash photos. So what I'm going to do is first we're going to come over here uh, and we're going to go to custom fields. Or let's update this first since it's asking for that. Custom fields, come back to home page and we're going to say add field and home page um, gallery. So this is our home page gallery. We're going to come down here and we're going to select where is it? Gallery. And yes, we're going to say it's required. We're going to close this. And we're going to update this field. Come back to pages, home page. And now we have this home page gallery. So just really quick, I'm going to grab some photos and um, then I'm going to come back and we're going to upload them. Alrighty guys, just finished downloading all those images. Let's go ahead and add them to the gallery here. I'm gonna upload these files to the desktop and just upload all of these guys. These guys go, they're all uploading slowly but surely. These are pretty big files, and normally I would uh, shrink these down um, if I was going live, but um, I'm not, so I'm just going to select all of these, and now they're all in the image gallery, which is awesome. So what we're going to do is I'm going to say update, and now we've got this home page gallery. I'm going to come over here to the gallery. Um, the gallery uh, template here. Um, so basically, this gallery will give you an array of all um, these key value pairs. Um, so what you're going to want to do is uh, grab this basic list of images. We're going to come back to our template here. I'm just going to get rid of that. And uh, here we're going to say that our images is equal to the field of home page gallery. Come back over here and you can see home page gallery is our image field. And then we're going to say if there are images in this, uh, we're going to loop through each of them and set um, images as image. So now we can reference the images as each one is just image. And in the uh, A tag, we're going to echo out the URL of that image. The image tag, we're going to um, echo out the thumbnail size, or you can also just echo out the URL again, which I'm going to do right there, like 
like that. And then uh, here we're echoing out the alt tag for that image. And then you can also echo out a caption right it's here as well. And then we're going to end the for each and then end the if statement. And if we come back to our template, uh, you see we get all these images popping up and they're taking up the whole screen. So what I'm going to do is come over to the image tag and say the max width on these guys is going to be 150. Um, so now when I come back, they're all right here. As you can see, there's only one caption, but let's go ahead and uh, come back to this guy here. We'll just say trees are great. And update that. And I love the city. Update that. Stars are pretty. Update that caption. And uh, chair swings are nice. And open the door. Awesome. So now all the images have captions, and if we come back and refresh, you can see that they all are displaying the captions now. Um, if we wanted to say open the door for the alt text, uh, I can update that, come back over here, and when I inspect this guy, the alt text is right here, open the door. So it echoes that out right there, just in case someone can't load your image also helps for better SEO. So that's the basics of the gallery guides. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you like the video, subscribe so I know you like the content. Uh, there'll be more coming at you soon. Uh, stay tuned for some more uh, advanced custom field plugin stuff. Uh, this is the very basics, but it, just with the basics, you can do some really cool things. Um, again, awesome plugin. Go out and get it. It's great for WordPress development. Peace, guys.